Which is better, the super pills from the Injustice universe, or the Compound V from the Boys universe? Well, as you've probably already guessed, it's not a simple yes-no answer. But we're going to take a look at each one and compare the results. Now let's start with Compound V. Now we're going to look at the ones in the comics, and then we'll look at the ones in the Amazon show. But in the comics, there's essentially three main versions of Compound V. There's the V that's been given to the Seven, and this is without a doubt the best one, as it is designed to create God-level powers. But it has to be tailored specifically to a person's biology, and it costs tens of billions to generate. Hence why there are only seven of them. And incidentally, the seven that are in the comics are all a lot stronger than the seven that are in the show. Now, next we have the boys version, as all the boys in the comics have superpowers. Now, this is a simple injection with no side effects other than your bowel movements turn blue. And it increases a person's strength by around 20 times or so. And it gives the immune system and their bodily functions a general boost. And this injection costs $19 billion each. But it does work on anyone and it's also permanent. It's also said that the 7's V cost a hell of a lot more to produce than this. So like I say, tens of billions. And again, that's why there's only 7 of them. Then there's the V that's most like the one from the show. Now in the comics, this is given to children and basically, they see what happens. It's essentially a standard super serum that is kind of like the X-Men. You never know what powers you're going to get, and you never know if the V is going to kill them. Now, you could actually get someone with the same level of power as the Homelander, although this doesn't really ever happen. Or you could just get a Spider-Man level amount of power, which is more likely. Or their body could reject it altogether, and they die. Which is why it's usually given to orphans and kids that no one will miss if they disappear. Fort America is basically just evil at the end of the day. This is also the cheapest one to produce, hence why it's used the most. But its effects are semi-random as a result. Now, like I say, this V is most like the one that we see in the show. Except the one in the Amazon show is more of a finished product. Sure, it does still kill people from time to time, but most of the time it just gives you powers without taking their lives. Now, as for the Injustice pill, it's called 5U93R, which is lead speak for super only with some hyphens thrown in it. So basically, it's a pun. And it increases your strength, durability, and reaction speeds by several thousand percent, including both muscle and bone density. Now, in the comics, it's basically the same as the game, but the pills are only temporary and wear off, whereas the ones in the video game seem to be permanent, as no one has ever seen taking them on more than one occasion, and no one's superpowers ever seem to wear off after they've taken one. So I think it's safe to say that in the game, it's a permanent upgrade. Now, you can take more than one, and that does increase the strength you get. But too many is lethal, as Renea Montoya found out in the comics, as she took several so she could kill Superman, and had a heart attack as a result before she could finish the job. Though Lex Luthor does take two in the video game, and seems not to feel adverse effects. Though since Superman does kill him, there's no way to know for sure, because we don't see what the long-term effects could have been. But seeing as Luther designed the pills based on Kryptonian nanotech, he likely knew that he could survive two pills, which is why he didn't take three pills, incidentally. But like I say, there's no way to know for sure as it's not discussed, and it does come across as though Luther knew he was on a bit of a suicide mission. So he may have only survived those two pills in the short run, whereas in the long run, they would have killed him. But to put it simply, what we know for sure is that the super pills are completely safe so long as you only take one and they seem to work on everyone. So the main difference is this. The Injustice pill won't kill you and will definitely give you powers, but it's only strength and durability, no other abilities. Whereas Compound V is semi-random, but you could get the really good powers, laser vision, teleporting, flight, mind bullets, super speed, or even eternal youth. Basically, the A-list powers that are very fun to play with. Or it could be less useful powers, we all know the B-listers of the show, and I'm not going to waste much time on them. But anyway, now that all that info is out there, which one is better? Well, we're going to compare the versions of the Injustice video game pill and the Compound V from the Boys Amazon series. And it comes down to this. In terms of raw physical strength, the super pill from Injustice is better, as it increases a person's strength by a few thousand percent. Whereas the V does make you stronger, 
but it doesn't increase your strength to the same degree as the injustice pill. And the proof of this is that one injustice pill will let you hold your own against injustice Superman. Not beat him outright in terms of raw strength, true, but enough power to hold your own in a fight. And bear in mind that Compound V has never made anyone stronger than Injustice Superman. Homelander is the closest, of course, but he is very much the exception and not the rule. The vast majority of Compound V users come nowhere near as close or as durable as the Injustice pill makes you. So in terms of physical strength and durability, the pill will make you stronger than the Compound V will, for sure. Unless you're one in a billion lucky and get crazy strong powers, of course. But considering this has never happened in the boys' universe before, it's unlikely to the point of being basically impossible. Now, to be fair, a lot of Compound V users still get a good strength boost, along with other abilities as well. But none of them are as strong as the Injustice Nanotech pills can make you. But then, is strength all there is? Sure, strength is great, but laser vision, flight, teleporting, super speed? These powers are quite literally the powers of gods. And I think most of us would prefer them to just strength and toughness if given the choice. Especially since we still get a strength boost. It'd just be more like 10, 20 or even 100 times stronger than a normal human. And do you really need to be thousands of times stronger? Sure, in the superhero world you would, as this would be crazy useful in a fight. But in real life, you don't really need that strength. In fact, it'd be a hassle more often than not, as you'd be very heavy-handed and break a lot of things in your day-to-day -day life. But then V might give you a lame power like shrinking or vomiting acid or something. And don't get me wrong, they still have their uses, but compared to flight and eternal youth? Well, there's really no comparison. Which is the main advantage with nanotech, in that the power level you get is consistent, whereas Compound V could potentially give you Homelander's powers, or it could just give you the power to read minds and basically no super strength at all. It's a roll of the dice with no guarantees. The reason for this is simple. Increasing strength and durability is what the Kryptonian nanites are designed to do, whereas Compound V just brings out the best of the DNA that it's bonded to, and there's really no way to know what the result will be. And even if you were to take the boy's special injection of Compound V from the comics, assuming you've got a spare $19 billion laying around, it'd still only make you about 20 times stronger, which is nowhere near the thousands of times stronger that the Injustice pill will give you. Of course, there's no reason you couldn't take both, get the super strength and durability of the super pill, and then see what bonus ability Compound V gives you. That would be best. But if you could only take one, then it's a personal choice. Test your luck on Compound V and end up somewhere between a god who doesn't age or a B-lister with a parlor trick, or take the Injustice pill and know what you are getting and end up with guaranteed A-list powers of strength and durability thousands of times stronger and durable than before. Though no cool extra abilities and no chance at eternal youth. It really depends on whether you like certainty or if you like testing your luck. Now, personally, I would love to roll the dice and see what Compound V gives me. I mean, who can resist the chance to get eternal youth and the power to fly? But what's your opinion? Would you take the Compound V and test your luck? Or do you want a guaranteed level of power boost? Be sure to let us know in the comments along with what superpower you'd most like Compound V to give you. I mean, personally, I'd like to get the energy absorption power from the X-Men films, as it would give me an insane level of destructive power, it would protect me against pretty much all forms of attack as I could just absorb the energy, and of course, it would give me eternal youth, so I could see all of time and all of the cool technology that the future has to offer. Now that is the dream. But what superpower would you want and why? Again, be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have merchandise available on our store, and to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.